Are you playing much better in practice than you are in matches? Well, I've got a possible solution for you, and I want to share that with you right now. My name is Jeff Salzenstein, founder of Tennis Evolution and former top 100 ATP player. And over the years, I've noticed a big problem with the way that players practice, and it's really impacting them when they go play matches. So let's go get to that lesson right now. One of the common themes that I hear over and over again from players is that they practice really well, they play great in practice, and then they play badly in matches. And there's this massive gap. And of course, we want to close the gap by giving you tools that can help you perform at your highest level. And one of the problems is that players are simply practicing wrong. They're just not practicing the right way. And I see it over and over again. I ask questions. I ask players, how do you practice? They tell me. There's too much drilling and there's not enough competing or playing. So when players practice, they do too many drill groups where there's multiple people on the court. Maybe they're with a pro and three, four, five, and they hit a couple balls and then they go to the back of the line. Well, that's not going to simulate point play. So then they, they feel like they're hitting their forehand great and drill. And then they go play a match and they can't hit a forehand in the court. It's because there's too much of a gap. There's too much discrepancy between match play and drill play and hitting. I've had other students that all, all they do is they love hitting cross court. So they'll just, for, for, for hours or for 20, 30 minutes, they'll just hit cross court all day long. But that's not what happens in tennis. In tennis, there's a variety of shots. There's different spins, speeds, angles. You have to move your opponent side to side. You gotta play one ball cross court, one ball down the line, one ball high, one ball angle. It's, it's really fascinating uh, how much variety there is in match play. But in practice, we go out and we just drill cross court. I get why you wanna groove a stroke. You wanna get the feel, but I think you should groove it for a short amount of time and then move on to something else or move on to something more dynamic. Groove for cross court for a few minutes and then get into some point play where you have to change direction and hit different types of forehands. You can't have the perfect scenario. It just doesn't work like that. So we train in this perfect scenario and then we get into a match and it's so wildly different that it throws us off. So we've got to play more practice sets and we've got to compete more. We've got to put more on the line. We've got to play more sets. We've got to create more variety and more pressure in our practices. And that's how you can start practicing the right way. And that will close the gap between help helping you to play better in match play so that it mimics you playing well in practice. Practicing the wrong way is one of the biggest performance killers keeping you from playing as well as you can, can in matches. And I hope you enjoyed this lesson today, really focusing on the inner game. This is the mindset uh, information that's just not being shared enough out there in the tennis world. And I wanted to bring this lesson to you today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and please share this video with others because we want to help other players improve their tennis, get their head focused on the right things so that they can play as well in matches as they do in practice. Thanks for your time today and we'll see you guys at the next lesson.